Good afternoon and welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. Today is the 27th of December. Um, and I hope everybody had a nice holiday. Uh, had a Merry Christmas. I'm so glad it's over. I'm not going to repeat that. I just did it on my last video. Just got that out of my system. So uh, this is Dory's kids. So today, my job this afternoon is I'm going to take pictures of all of these. Um, this litter and of Meadows, and I'm going to get them on the website for you. Uh, they're doing super, super good. And um, she's being a great mom with these guys. So we actually, I could have changed this a little bit. Okay, whoop, didn't mean to roll you over. So we have three black and whites, three chocolate and whites. Uh, and we're gonna have a couple sizes in here. And it's funny, I got them in the perfect order. These two are the smallest. I think these two are the biggest, possibly that one. So there's gonna be every size between Hondo and um, Dory. So we're gonna have a little bit of everything in between. And uh, there are two girls and a boy in each litter, in each color. So there's four girls, two boys, but they're doing really, really good. They're been, uh, Dory has been a phenomenal mom. She's upstairs probably having an absolute cow that I have them down here. So we have one of the coolest ones in this litter is this little guy. I think this is a, is this the boy? Yep. So I'm going to start with him just because he's really cool. You want to talk about a great yin-yang face? This is like the perfect yin-yang. It's uh, He's got it clear to the back of his head. It goes right up the middle of his nose. And he's got a little black butt. So his tail is going to have a white tip on it. And other than that, he's all... I do see ticking coming right there, that little dark spot is actually gonna be a little tiny black spot underneath, but you'll never see more than just like wisps of black on the top. I know I hear you. He's got an ear with a little bit of white. It's got a white stripe on the outside, inside, and a white stripe on the outside. So he's kind of a really, a con I can't think of the word. It's not, it's a quandrum. That's not it, quandrum, I don't know. Anyway, he's different. So. I love the yin yang. He's probably the most definite yin yang I've seen in a long time. Uh, these guys are microchipped. All right, tell me it is. 9863, and he's not happy. I know, I'll put you down in just a minute there. Is that better? His little nose is speckled. It will turn black. Lots of parties are born with a pink nose, and then they turn. So his little nose will turn black. I'm going to, and he looks like he's got a little bit of black ticking. No, it's just his eye. All right, I'm going to put him on the cold tray. Let's see what he weighs. He is 8.8 .8 ounces, and he's not happy. Okay, lay down. There you go. There you go. All right, we're going to do the blacks and do them first since we started with him. This one is probably has the most black. This one looks like Hondo. Uh, also looks like, oh, nope, there's nothing to eat on my finger. Nope, nope, don't do that. Nope, nope. Once they think there's a nipple there, I can't get him to quit. So nothing on that finger, sorry. This is almost like Ginger's puppy with the big black collar and the white on the hip and the white on this leg. But he looks just like Hondo. So this is daddy spitting image, pretty much. He, oh, you know what, she. That's dumb, it's a shebe. She is 9862, and she says, I want down, I want to do something. No color on her belly, all white. I know, you're not happy. Are you better? Here, I'll hold you like that. There you go, now you're better. You feel more comfortable. Uh, all black nose, her nose is already turned. She never had very much pink on hers. And here we go, you ready? 10.8. Okay, 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 I got you. You're off there. You are off there. All right. Okay. It's okay. Snuggle. Go back to sleep. She said, there's got to be something down here to eat. No, maybe they're going to quit. All right. This one is sound asleep. It says, I don't want to be bothered. This is a female also. Almost a perfect yin-yang. She's got this little, like, snippet. 
I could take some black paint and cover this in, and you never know the difference. But the Yang Yang is not quite a full Yang Yang. Her nose is starting to color in. No color on her belly. She's got one dot on the back, and her tail has a dot right above it. So we're gonna call you Dotty, aren't we? So you got dots all over you. She's got both black ears. Yeah, both black ears. Both ears are black. She's got that little white separation and that little spot on her head. Other than that, she's all white. She says, I'm just a pretty baby. All right, you ready to get, ready to be cold? Thank you, your chip. 98.69. All right, here we go. 10.6 ounces. Okay, down you go. Down you go, down you go. Snuggle. Let's put you back in a swaddle position. Get you to calm back down. Okay. Let's go to the big guys. This one is a big girl, not a big guy. She says, oh, just, can I just sleep? I love it when you pick them up and they don't move. They're sound asleep. She said, I'm not comfortable. Let me twist. So that's better. <laughs> she's got to go back to sleep. All right. She's got a white blaze down the front of her head. Just a little teeny tiny snip of a blaze. I'm trying to keep her rolled in my hand so she'll go back to sleep. Her nose is almost turned brown all over. Not quite, but almost. And she's got really nice markings on her back. She's got a big spot. Pretty much all black or all brown rear end. Um, most of her tail's brown. She's just a nice big baby. Are you ready? Let's wake you up this time. 11.8 ounces. Okay, back down you go. There you go. Go back to sleep. I'll leave you there. I'm gonna take you. All right. This is the other little girl. I think she's the littlest, so this has got to be the boy. It's got this little, you know how bunnies have that little tiny white spot in the front of their head? When I look down on these guys, I used to have baby bunnies that I raised. And uh, if you find a wild bunny nest, I've raised a few wild bunnies in my ears. And they all have these little white dots on their head. And that's what she looks like from the top down. She's got lots of color on her back. She's going to have a brown nose white chest. All these puppies have the possibility of blue eyes. 9870 because of mom. Uh, we won't know till about five to six weeks old what they're going to be. 8.8 .8 ounces. But they all have the possibility of double blue eyes. Did I say brown eyes? Okay. If they are not blue, they will be, these three will have green eyes or hazel eyes. These three, if they're not blue, will have black eyes. So it'll be interesting to see. All right, the last one, I'm going to smoosh them together. This one is the male. Yep, this is the little boy. Well, you've got your daddy's head. Goodness sake. He's got this little apple head, just like his daddy. Yep, you look just like your daddy. Yeah, you do. Nose is already all brown. He's got a big white spot on his forehead. He's got really pretty coloring on his back. And he's got a few little pieces of ticking coming under this coat. You can see those little tiny dark spots. That's ticking. Just means it's a little bit of a dark spot underneath the, the uh, skin on the coat, under the coat on the skin. One of those two. Uh, 9868 is his number. He says, let me go, let me go. He is eight point, nope, he is nine ounces. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, right here, right here. I gotcha, I gotcha. Head down, head down, head down. There you go. Calm down, back to sleep. Back to sleep. He says there's gotta be something there to eat. He says, I'm not gonna settle down that easy. So that gives you an idea how they're doing. Uh, they're awesome babies. 
We will do uh, pictures of them this afternoon, and then I'll have them on. Hopefully, I'll have this litter all on tonight, and I'll have Meadows litter all on tonight. So that's my photo challenge for this afternoon: is take all 16, oh, all 12 pictures, and uh, you figure I take 25, usually up to 25 of each puppy. That's a lot of pictures to go through and try and get on tonight, but I'll see if I can get them all on for you. Um, once their eyes open, um, and we are, what, a week tomorrow? I think we're a week old tomorrow, so there'll be seven days tomorrow. Um, then once their eyes open, we're still, we're still probably seven to ten days away from eyes opening. So once that happens, then I will get, uh, usually once their eyes open, I wait about eight to ten days so their eyes are open really good and you can see good expression. And then we'll put, you're just like really rolled in a ball, aren't there, under there. And uh, that way, I wonder if we could do pigs in a blanket. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to have a litter, and if I am quiet enough, and I can roll them over, and I don't touch their face, I haven't done pigs in a blanket in a long time. And sometimes somebody never wants to cooperate and it never works. He'll be the troublemaker. Okay, everybody has to smooge. This is a sloppy pigs in the blanket. Yeah, see he says, I don't want to lay like this. I really don't. I told you he's gonna be the troublemaker. Well, you gotta put your leg there. You gotta put your leg there. You gotta put your leg there. If I take you out of the equation, I almost have pigs in a blanket. I knew you were gonna be the troublemaker. So, it's always fun to do. And sometimes, I did 11 one time in a litter. And I just took my time, and did lots of repositioning and turning. And see? Look at this. You always have an oddball. Okay, can we try one more time? We're really close. Can we? Can I just turn you up here? I'm going to make you stay right there for just a second. You got to go back to sleep. We're going to swallow you sideways. He says, no, no, no. Don't want to. Okay, fine. Go away. Go away. I'll hold you. I'll hold you. All right. Well, we're close. We tried. Junior out here on the end says, I don't want to cooperate. And he said, I just want to snuggle underneath somebody's arm or leg or something. All right, this one's out of it. This says, you can do whatever you want to do to me. I don't care. They're having dreams. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. I'm going to reposition. Whoops. Whoops. You're fine. Oh, I know. Just roll right up there like that. He says, I'd like to sleep like this. Spooning. All right, I hope you guys enjoy their video. They're really doing good. Uh, I will get your pictures on if you have any questions. Once I get the pictures on, uh, and the same with Meadows. I forgot to tell people that. Uh, if you know, if you're first pick and you know which puppy you want, you can call me whenever you want. But uh, once I get the photos on, <clears throat> I'd really like you to take a look at them because usually people start calling me and going, when can I take my pick? So... <coughs> The first person kind of starts the whole ball rolling. So once you figure out which one you want, please call me. Let me know. And I need you to fill out the online puppy deposit contract, uh, purchase contract at the top of the website. Uh, you can do it right online. Once you fill it out, you just hit submit at the bottom. I think you do have to check, check a box that says I'm not a robot or something. And uh, it's going to ask you for the microchip number, mom and dad's name, their birth date. And uh, if you have any comments you want to make or ask questions, there is a comment box down there on the form. Uh, you're welcome to fill out whatever you want in there. Shoot me a text and say, hey, I sent you in the contract uh, because I can't see the contract on my side of the website. I have to go back in the admin section. And unless I'm in there, I never know when you send it. So um, just shoot me a text and say, hey, I sent it over. If you are looking at this on YouTube, please note there is already a waiting list for this litter. That doesn't mean everybody's going to take one. Uh, somebody may say, nope, I don't want one. Uh, I, I think I'll pass. So um, 
you know, don't be dismayed if the list is full because it doesn't always last and somebody may pass and then you may have been able to get the pup you were really looking for. So uh, I will be posting new upcoming litters on the expected litter page. We've got a couple girls that are bred. I can't tell 100% sure yet if the breeding took, but I have so many people asking. We're going to go ahead and put them on the website um, sometime this week. And that way you'll know what we have upcoming for spring. And I probably will even post the girls we're expecting to be in heat in February. Um, so we've had a lot of people say, please put them on ahead of time so we know what to look for. So I think we're going to do that, which we've never done before. But we will put the ones that are due in February on and uh, see if we can get them here. You want to snuggle? Let's snuggle this way. Can you go to sleep like this? So you won't go the other way. Can you lay this way and snuggle? This is called a reverse pigs in the blanket. <laughs> this is, now can you, let's put your sister's arm up here on your shoulder. There. Aww. See, we got a reverse. Well, no, this one's being <laughs> stupid now. All right, well, you wouldn't cooperate one way, but we got you another. All right, have a great day. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Don't email me, and it's not because I don't like emails. I don't have a chance to get on right now as busy as we are. Um, with weather nice, we're either in the house with the dogs or in the kennel. So the best way to always get a hold of me is shoot me a text or call me. <coughs> Absolutely the best way. You can call me anytime during the night. I shut my phone, my phone off at 9 o'clock. I won't hear your message, but I'll get it in the next morning, and it doesn't bother me during the night if you do that. So, oh, okay, all that said and done, have a great week.